Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Take 5. Let's jump right in. We've been recapping the, su the sermon from Sunday morning entitled Tattletale. We've been recapping the life and the story of Joseph, and this was our fourth installment of our Back to Basics series. So far this week, we've learned that our potential is not directly tied to our purpose. And yesterday, we learned that Joseph stayed committed to, the, uh, to his purpose, even during the process of preparation. Today, I want to talk about the third thing that we brought to light Sunday from Joseph's story, and that is that our purpose is not directly tied to our platform. Our purpose is not directly tied to our platform. Now, you hear those things, and those words all start with the letter P, and maybe it confuses you a little bit, or maybe you think they're all one and the same. Well, what I want you to understand today is that the platforms that you have in life are distinctly different from the purpose that you have in life. Our platforms are, are basically anything that we have in life to represent God to the rest of the world. Our platforms would include the jobs that we work. Uh, if you're still a student, that would include your classes and your schoolwork. Uh, our platforms in life would include any hobbies or anything that we do extracurricularly. Our, our, our platforms in life would, would include the, the sports that maybe you play. The platforms in life that we have would, would include the hobbies that we have, or if you're a preacher or a teacher, the, the literal platform that you have. Those are all platforms that we have in life to represent God to the rest of the world. And they are distinctly different from the purpose that you all, all of us share together, the purpose that God has given us. We see a picture of this in the life of Joseph here. And you all know that the, the dream that God gave him at the very beginning of his story was the, a dream that Joseph would be in a place of high leadership one day, right? But the, the story, you know the whole story. We talked about it several times this week. It, it, it doesn't, he doesn't get the dream and immediately get to that platform or that area of his life. Joseph went through 13 years of, of preparation to get to that point. And the point I made yesterday was that Joseph was committed to his purpose, even during all those years of preparation. And the thing that I believe with all my heart that kept Joseph sane in the middle of all of those circumstances, all of those trials, all of the, those years of preparation, was that he knew his purpose. He knew that ultimately his dream that he had been given from God was to be a leader, but that was not his purpose in life. Joseph knew that his purpose in life, the one purpose he had, was to represent God wherever he found himself. And so because of that, Joseph knew that whatever platform he was given in life in that season, he still had the same purpose. So when he found himself as a, a servant in Potiphar's house, Joseph knew that his purpose was to represent God to the very best of his ability. And so he did that. And because he did that, because he worked with diligence and with excellence, and because he worked like he was a servant of not just of Potiphar, but a servant of God, the Bible said that those in Potiphar's house saw that the Spirit of the Lord was on Joseph. That was his purpose all along. And ultimately, it led to a, a greater and greater platform in Potiphar's house until that season of his life was over. And then the, the, the next time we uh, talk about Joseph, we, we find out that Joseph finds himself in prison. And it, Joseph does the same thing there. He realizes that that's just a platform that he has in this life. He remembers his purpose is, is to represent God. So with the tasks and with the responsibilities that he has in prison, he begins to work with excellence and with diligence. He works with integrity and with character like only a man of God would. And the Bible says because he did that there as well, that the warden recognized that the Spirit of God was with Joseph. And Joseph realized that in every season of his life, in every platform that he had been given, that his purpose was the same. It was to represent God well. And ultimately, he did that in Potiphar's house. He did that in prison. And then when he was given the, the ultimate platform, I suppose, in his life, in Pharaoh's kingdom, he remembered his purpose was the same, to represent God there as well. And the Bible says he was so diligent and so excellent and so godly, so kingdom-minded in his work there, 
that he was promoted all the way up to the top of Pharaoh's kingdom. And there was, he was the ultimate authority in Egypt outside of Pharaoh. And it was all because he remembered that, that representing God was his purpose, not his platform. I want you to understand that whatever platform you find that you have in life, that is not your purpose your purpose is to represent God with every gift and every talent and everything that God has given you and every platform that He has given you. So in this season of your life, it may be your job, your career. And if that's you, then you need to find your purpose in life. You need to represent God well in that area. For some of you, you're, that's, you may be in the season of, of, of school and study. That's the platform that God has given you to represent Him well. And you need to do that with every fiber of your being. And for some of you, you may not be, your platform may have changed tremendously. You may be retired. You, you may have stepped down from teaching Sunday school classes or Wednesday night classes or whatever the case might be. But your platform is not your purpose. You, you may not have the platforms that you once had, but you still have the same purpose that you always had in life to represent God well. So maybe you have a plethora of platforms in life, or maybe you find yourself in a season where you don't know your platform. I want you to understand that your purpose is always the same, to represent God well in this life. So your platform is not related to your purpose. You still have purpose no matter the platform in your life. Hey, I hope you have a great day today. I'll see you again one more time this week on Take 5 tomorrow.